Hi, I'm Eddie Avakoff, owner of Metroplex, and in 2011, Chris Albert, my buddy and I, set off to open the baddest gym in the country. Fast forward to 2020 and we have succeeded at that. Now, I want you to see how we started this thing from the ground up, from scratch, back in 2011. Cheyenne, our awesome cameraman and editor, has compiled a video showing the, what, 20 day evolution process of this building from an empty warehouse to the Mecca of SoCal. Join us. Chris, your thoughts? How we do it? We're gonna do it like this. We the superstar, baby. We get the face stirred up just like this. All right, Chris, where are we going? What are we doing? We're getting into 3200 for the first time. For the first time ever, we're going to get the keys to Metroflex, and it's been a long time coming. Yes, sir. All right. people want to see this place. A lot of people want to see this place. So we're heading down Downey. We are taking a right on 59th Street. Boom. Church. Passing the church, they're not gonna like us. Eh, they might like us. They'll like us more than the porn studio that was there. That's true. This place used to be a porn studio, and uh, now it's the uh, best gym in LA. Yep. Well, soon to be. It's, uh, this is the route that we are going to take. There's a dog. Unless you come from the other side. Our friggin oh, there's a dog. That's the new official Metroflex dog. Is he okay? His name is Fido. He's doing just fine. I asked Animal Control what's going to happen to her, and uh, her his outlook was pretty grim. In fact, uh, today is the first day she's being she's available for pickup, and tomorrow, if no one claims her, they're going to euthanize her. So uh, I guess it's up to me to help this poor dog. Lucky for her, she's going to get a whole lot of barbecue and a big playground to play in. Facility, and here we are. 3200 East 59th Street. This is the first time we are going to walk into the facility other than when we looked at the place and then that one time when we found the door unlocked and we also went in. Yeah. <laughs> but we won't talk about that. Fido, see this. You alright, Fido? That's the watchdog. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, he comes with the building. Hello? Hello? There's my stuff. Don't do it! To me, all I see is potential. And uh, we are going to turn this into one hell of a gym. Day three inside Metro Flex. Just finished the first official workout. And Chris Albert is going to get access to the roof. There's a lock up there and we don't know the combo. Neither does the landlord. So we're going to make a makeshift harness. We're going to use this bolt cutter. And we're going to get on yep. that effing roof. What running a gym is all about. So latch yourself in. If he dies, we'll be sure to send this to Tosh.0. Alright Chris, what are we doing? Finishing up our deadlift platform. This is looking pretty effing cool. We got laminate flooring on top of two thick pieces of, uh, actually I guess four pieces of, uh, of uh, dense dense wood. Out here, where there is no laminate flooring, we're going to have um, rubber flooring. I think quarter inch will do. And uh, it will be about even with that. And this is going to be one hell of a deadlift platform. So we're just finishing up this. We're going to nail this in. And uh, we got the barbell there to uh, check it. I'm about to CrossFit in about, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Over. Yeah. Going to the roof. It's my first time up on the roof. Yeah, buddy. That's what it looks like on the top of Metroflex. Here, grab this. Hang our sign. Let people know there's a new neighbor on the block. 
Metroflex. Well, we got a lot done. Um, it's been a long day at Metroflex. Um, some days are more fun than others. Today was a lot of uh, hard work and whatnot, but uh, we got work done. And that's what counts. That's the most important thing. And every day is a step forward, not a step back. So now I'm going to call the Orkin man and tell him to get rid of the fucking bugs in this place and uh, we'll get rocking and rolling. Day six inside Metroflex. We got the wheelbarrow um, and the uh, Atlas stone molds. We can make ourselves some strongman logs. There's the cement right there, Chris. We got we got some new shit in town. We got the uh, kettlebells. That's one of our two extra prowlers. We got two Econo prowlers and we got two rogue butchers. I think they all weigh the same though. Um, what else we got? We got the rubber flooring. We're building that and uh, getting a lot of shit in here. It's coming fast. There's the monolith over there. That's gonna be a, uh, that's like dessert. After we finish all the hard work, that's gonna be a joy to build. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm about to crossfit, get my workout on. This is gonna do a little work, and then he's gonna do his workout, and I'm gonna take over on the work side. So, let's get her done. These deadlift platforms are coming together quite nicely. We got the rubber flooring, the um, laminate flooring and uh, rubber over there to catch the weights that quick bam we're just finishing up this one gonna clean up the edges but uh, other than that it looks pretty damn hot this project tomorrow and also building the monolith Weed, bang, 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 haha, <laughs> killing all the weeds, neighbors think I'm weird, oh yeah, really getting it now, really doing it. You know, normally, I think weed is a good thing, but uh, not in this situation. Pardon the drum and bass. Got my workout equipment, ready to do a workout. Got the deadlift platforms. Done. It's like bang, 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 bang. I gotta pick this up and move it. Weed, pa, pa, pa. Yeah, hot weed, pa. Oh my God, it's been a stressful day, to say the least. Um. We've been that, here like what stuff. three, four times. Yeah. People no. keep sending us stuff. Yeah. Everything's getting in our way. Everything. And uh, I smoked coffee on myself. My car broke down. Yeah. He almost got killed. Almost got killed. Oh, twice. Um, it's been stressful to say the least. That that is helping, but it's also not helping. Uh, yeah. And he's gonna have to go through some anger management issues. Um, what else happened today? Uh, I, I don't even want to talk about it. It's just been a shitty day. Fuck today. Look at him sweating in his birthday clothes. Not his birthday suit. Although I'd love to see that. Just finish up the final screw on the monolith, well, at least for the structure part. Chris Albert is using his brains and his brawn to uh, get. This, this is a. These four screws is probably the hardest challenge we've faced building this gym as of yet. And uh, he figured it out. We, uh, we had a little trouble. This doesn't look as simple as we thought. But uh, he's rocking out. Anything to say to this monolith? You're gonna punish it for all the trouble it's given us. No, man, honestly, this is one of the most beastly friggin' pieces of equipment I've ever seen. Yeah, the steel, the steel is so thick. Like, so sturdy, and like, I'm very happy we bought it. We bought it from James Mata from Vermont. In, uh, American Eagle Fitness, I think it's called. Is it American Eagle Fitness? Something, something about eagles. I mean, honestly, if you ever do business with this guy, he's really down to earth, good guy. Yeah, um, I mean, he knows how to work iron. This thing's mad. This guy knows his steel. Uh, he built, and he builds not just monoliths. He says he builds everything. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, I can't wait to, to show this to our members and, and uh, get them some business.
uh, honestly get some people squatting some record lifts off of this. So uh, look at these look at these hooks for the bands. Um, that's what the holds the weight, and it'll go up here. Has a has the same jack as would a mechanic's garage for a car, um, which we're gonna probably install tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I this I mean literally I think people anybody in this part of California who's looking to do a quick powerlifting, um, this is gonna be the go-to place. There's very few places around here who have model lifts. Um, people travel for miles to actually use them. And you know, we're happy to be bringing this to Long Beach. And you got one here in Long Beach. Damn, lucky Long Beach, lucky LA. Thank God we moved into town. Well, day eight inside Metro Flex. We put our strongman equipment out there and power wash the, uh, the floors. Now we're sweeping it out. Bada bing, bada boom. We're waiting for them to dry, and then we're gonna lay down our three quarter inch flooring. This place is coming together, and although the equipment's coming uh, in a couple days, uh, we got plenty of work to do here. The floor is looking clean. Monolith, we got that tomorrow, or tonight actually. I'm gonna do my set of squats in a minute. So we got the floor right here, three quarter inch, 10 rolls, which is about 2,000 square feet. Moved a little bit of the equipment outside. The rest is in the office back there. We're just, uh, we about swept the floor about five times. Now we're gonna give it a wash and another rinse and some more sweeping, taking care of this bitch, making it clean and pretty before you guys fuck it up. Just finished my uh, five by seven on back squats. Time to hit some front squats and some overhead squats and some upside down squats and sideways squats. Fucking squats! It is uh, 11.30. Been here well over 12 hours. Well over 12 hours. We're just laying down the flooring. Putting weights on it so it flattens the little bumps. I'll help you with that in a sec. You got anything to say? Uh, no. It's fucking hot. We had a little Chick fil A, a little Starbucks, and working late. Gonna build those Atlas stones tomorrow. I know I keep saying that, but it's gonna happen, I promise. Look at him go. Like a fucking machine. Making the Atlas stones. Chris is mixing up the cement. Crossfit floor has been laid down. Paint that line to make Prowler Lane down there and out the door. Making them. Okay. Settles properly in there. I'll get this one out of the way. Wipe the mold off as we go. Okay. Gotta go.
This is just uh, one of many deliveries, probably one of five. They're gonna bring some more stuff after they empty this truck. Here's our hack squat. I think that's going over there. Another trip to Home Depot. What would this make it? Like the 20th trip this week? Yeah, man. Make a left up here. You know, all this time I've been saying more seeing, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. But it's not seeing, it's saving. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. More buying. More buying, yeah. More debt. More debt. That is the power of the Home Depot. Well, we're going to go get our Chipotle steak salad on and uh, lay down. We laid down the rubber flooring, but now we're going to glue it to the floor, then bolt it to the floor, then bolt the floor to the floor, and do a lot of uh, gluing and bolting. Alrighty, so we're getting a bunch of these, laying it down on the floor, gluing the floor down. Looking good, Chris. This is uh, gonna be a long, long afternoon of doing this. We've uh, laid down this, this, and this, and it's taken about two hours. So we still got a lot of mats to go. But, uh, you know, we're figuring out a faster way every time we do it, so that's gonna be good. And uh, cracking it down. I'm off to Home Depot to get more of this stuff. I can't find my hat, though. Uh, yeah, it's been a good day so far. Good Saturday. Alrighty. Look at all those squat racks. Love it. Day 12 at Metro Flex. We're about uh, less than a week from the uh, first of our grand openings. And uh, we got MD coming on Wednesday. And things are looking pretty damn cool in here. Check it out. This is our CrossFit. We're getting more CrossFit stuff tomorrow. It's all in public storage. We're, we're drilling down all the equipment. So, it's nice and secure. Squat racks. Deadlift platforms. This place is coming together. Metro Flex, motherfucker! Day 14 over at Metro Flex. It's been two full weeks starting today. We got in 14 days ago, last Thursday, or two Thursdays ago. Chris is getting his workout in. I think this is our second week. 14 days. Yeah, Day 14. man. We got the parking lot going. Flags are up, old glory. Flags are looking good. Get ready. We're getting uh, the parking lot all ripped up. They're going to repave and resurface this whole thing. Uh, give us some fresh lines. So then we get that prowler lane going all the way down and right out the door. Chris is getting a workout in. I'm laying down some more laminate flooring on that final deadlift platform. Uh, we got AT&T installed on the internet today. We got AE, AET or ATT or something installed on the security system. We got uh, cleaning people coming for the bathrooms, get rid of the bugs. We got a meeting with Kay and Martin. Can't wait to tell you about all that. We got um, more equipment coming today, hopefully. We got, we got a busy day ahead of us. We got to go down to City Hall and sign some paperwork. Um, yeah. Getting ready for the grand opening. It's only uh, three days away, so we're busting the ass and getting everything going. I'm gonna paint some stuff on the uh, on the walls over here and stuff like that. Get my get my artistry on. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a good day at Metroflex. So there you have it. You watched the evolution of this amazing facility from scratch. Now we have a brand new facility coming to you. Please join us, like and subscribe so you can watch the entire evolution of the new facility, Metroflex 2.0 in Hawaiian Gardens, California.
Something else I want to say too. Uh, you know, Penny and I have been working our butts off and, and trying to bring this place up. Whenever you guys are trying to deal with people out there, um, make sure they're honest people, good people. And that's how we've gotten as far as we've gotten because of good people that, that we picked and chosen to work with. And, uh, you know, uh, that's one of the reasons why we chose, Met chose Metroplex because Brian Dobson is honestly one of the... the Brian Dobson, you're the man. Yeah. Even the people that we've helped Absolutely. with. Cameron Crockett. Absolutely. Dan right. Chase, our attorney. We Absolutely. met some scumbags and we've met some awesome people. And if it weren't for the awesome people, we wouldn't be here right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, anyway. Happy to be here. I'm going to get this thing going. Happy birthday, Chris. Happy birthday to me. I'm working on the This is, you're looking at your... This is your present. Yes, sir. Let's fill it up with some. Let's fill it up with some gear soon. It'll be in front of millions of viewers. Millions. Anything millions. to say about fitness? Millions. Millions. <laughs> yeah, I don't do enough of it anymore. <laughs> well, our gym's just down the street, Metroplex Long Beach. Right. Take Thank it easy, much. Mike. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, keep your head like that and then face forward, face directly forward. Open your mouth. Oh, it looks like you're eating the bananas. Oh no, you, you missed it. No, you gotta put your head lower. Yeah, there you go. And move your head just directly forward. <laughs> this shit heavy? So you're going on the web page. Chick fil A. You spelled chicken wrong. I'm eating steak right now. Uh, where's my fucking coffee? Good. Look at the stuff. Look at what you do to my Ford Focus. Damn it. Metroflex ruins the Ford Focus. Yeah, you have cement all over your trunk. Yeah, we're gonna have to vacuum. I'm gonna have to use a shop vacuum.